We're gonna start off the workout with a dynamic warm up, and the object is just to get warmed up by getting a little blood flow, get the body temperature up, which already isn't a very big problem because it's 110 outside. We're gonna start off with just the dynamic warm up, then we start off the exercises with lighter weights, then we're actually gonna use for the work set. So you go from a kind of a general warm up, warm up to a more specific one. Today's workout is going to consist of straight arm pull downs and wide grip face away lat pull downs done in a circuit style, followed by one arm dumbbell rows, then weighted wide grip pull ups, then time under tension hip pocket rows, and chest supported cambered barbell rows. After a dynamic warm up, we're starting to work out with straight arm pull downs. This is one of those exercises where form is much more important than weight. It doesn't matter how much weight you use on this exercise, if it's not done with proper form, you're going to make it into a tricep pushdown and um, sort of a, a hybrid tricep pushdown, straight arm pull down, and you're totally missing the boat on it. So think form over weight on this exercise. It's one thing to be concerned with your deadlift max, it's another thing to be concerned with your straight arm pull down max, and you will be the only person that is concerned with that. Going wide grip lat pull downs done in peak contraction style. Full stretch at the top, squeeze at the bottom. Again, this is not a power movement. Weight is not the concern. You want to feel this movement. You're not after a, a max on wide grip lat pull downs. These are done in peak contraction style. Branch continuing, that peak contraction style. Feel overweight, again, is the emphasis of this movement. The wide grip uh, lat pull downs, again, is, is, is supersetted with the low cable cable rows. And the cable rows, emphasis, watch branch, stretched at the bottom, feel it in the lower lat, good squeeze at the top of the movement. This is not a power movement. I mean, you obviously want to be in, do it intensely, but not at the sacrifice of form. Feel over form in this movement. Wide grip lat pull downs. 
done. Watch hip branch get the stretch up. Squeeze to the bottom. This is not an easy exercise. And again, he's starting to, you know, the, he's starting to lose his form a little bit. He's not getting his body into anything, but he's got to get that squeeze to the bottom. But that was after doing it for a minute straight, so he's rightfully fatigued. This is a one arm dumbbell row, and again, we're not, we're not going to do this in a total peak contraction, slow style, not caring about the weight, but we're also not going to go make it a partial. The point of emphasis is I'm letting them use a little bit of body movement to get it up so it's a compound, heavy movement, but at the same time, the point of emphasis is the stretch at the bottom. So feel and weight is important on this movement. If you, I, no matter what technique you use, if you're doing 40 pounds, you're never going to build a 250 pound muscular physique. Even with 200 pounds here on the dumbbell row, Branch is getting a good stretch at the bottom, getting the weight all the way up and really filling his back. Branch is doing a 250 pound dumbbell row today, six reps on each side. Most bodybuilders will struggle to do much more than 100 pounds on this weight. And even watching Branch do it, you see he's getting the full stretch at the bottom, really getting that, you know, stretching his lower lat and getting that full development in his back. 250 pounds is for on a bent arm bar, or excuse me, a bent over barbell row is a very respectable weight, let alone doing it with one arm. Wide grip pull ups. Branch doing multiple repetitions with his body weight. As he gets that full stretch at the bottom, look at the amazing amount of width he's put on his lats. Branch doing weighted pull-ups, wide grip with 45 pounds for multiple repetitions, getting that good stretch at the bottom. Here Branch is doing weighted pull-ups with 75 pounds over his body weight. When he first started his body weight, what, he wasn't doing that easily. Now he's doing 75 pounds over for multiple repetitions. Branch again doing reps of 75 pounds over his body weight. Key points of emphasis getting that stretch at the bottom and watching his lats work. Again, this is a stretch movement. He's getting that good stretch forward and pulling the weight way back to the hip. You really feel this one with the lower lats. And again, you want to take the weight. If you're against a dumbbell rack, basically hit the dumbbell rack, then pull the weight all the way back in an arcing motion, and you want to squeeze at the top. This, you'll really feel this in the lower lats, and we're doing this one here for time. This may not seem like a lot of weight, but when you do for two minutes, two minutes straight, it is not easy.
branch here is doing a cambered bar row on incline. So the, this is a great movement to, to take the stress off your lower back because see branch's body supported by that. It's actually a decline bench, but the way he's lying on it makes it into an incline. But what this does is it takes the stress off the lower back. The reason is branches are standing up that so that he's not having to deal with that. It isolates his upper back more, but mainly we're doing this to remove stress from the lower back. And by using that cambered bar, what that means is that sort of U thing in the middle, it increases your range of motion. This was initially designed by bench pressing legend Mike McDonald in the 1970s. And the purpose was to get to do a bench press beyond your typical range of motion where the bar would stop developing starting power at the bottom. Well, right here, if he does this, um, because of the way the decline bench is positioned, the barbell will stop you know, short of his body, decreasing his range of motion. But by using this cambered bar, he's increasing his range of motion an additional four inches. He's gonna feel this much deeper in his back and the point in the points of emphasis get the weight all the way up to the bench, get a good stretch so your arms are totally straight at the bottom and you're gonna feel it in your lower lats. This is not a movement where you're gonna use a ton of weight. You wanna feel this movement. 